Hi there, we're going to the cinema. Specifically, Cineworld IMAX. Field trip. Here is Cineworld. Cineworld has over 100 cinemas across the UK and Ireland. And in addition to all the amazing elements you expect to find in a cinema, which I love very, very much, Cineworld also aims to provide exciting experiences while you watch the movie, like 40X, Screen X, Super Screen, and my favorite, IMAX. And today I've been asked by Cineworld to make a painting for Sean Chi and the legend of the Ten Rings coming to IMAX, which is what we're checking out today. Day. Look how big that screen is! I was thoroughly impressed. IMAX format means you can experience 26% more picture that is only in IMAX. And Sean Chi will feature the entire film shot with IMAX certified digital cameras, providing an unprecedented crispness and clarity. It's also going to sound great because the next generation IMAX precision sound creates a truly immersive experience. And just for reference, I love going to the movies. Being in a cinema is absolutely my happy place and I'm really excited to do this IMAX-inspired painting for Cineworld. Obviously, I had to make the painting very big. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna start by putting the paint directly on the canvas. I've not really done it like this before. I wanted to create motion, real immersion with this piece. Overall, it's gonna be a very, very artistic picture. For this, we're gonna make the background really, really blurry, and since all the paint will be going the same direction, I'm hoping it will create an effect of characters in motion. I definitely didn't want to do a piece where it was just the character facing straight to camera because that's not what IMAX is about and that's not what Sean Chi's about. Sean Chi's got so much action, adventure, martial art elements and that's why we're spreading the paint like this. I'm going back and forth over it again making sure to keep all of the brush strokes going diagonally. I'm trying to keep myself from accidentally touching the paint which is why my hands in my pocket. This part was oddly calming to do and I really enjoyed it. And then we get started on the rock structure base. For this, I'm using blue and pink tones. This is just the base layer, roughly marking it out. And then I'm going back over with darker purples, blues, reds, highlight points, just random shapes, random highlights, and keeping it really, really artistic. I want it to look comic book style. To make it look the rocks moving a little bit, I added a few dots and some extra highlights to the background. Then we get started on the characters. I mapped out their silhouettes and I painted them in white. And then I went back over with some silver paint. Then I decided to outline the characters using black paint. I'm not giving them too much definition here, I do want it to look very artistic. This piece is all about motion, artistry, immersion. Got to get the tin rings in there. Added lots of splashes of paint. Paint went everywhere in my room. I spent a very long time cleaning it up off the floor. I do like that technique though where you dip the brush in paint and then you tap it against another brush to splatter it and it's kind of a controlled splatter. And overall, I'm really happy with how it turned out and I hope it kind of captures the idea of what an IMAX is and movie immersion. So if you'd like to see Shang-Chi, it will be at Sydney World in IMAX, 40X, and Super Screen. And if you do see it in IMAX, you will be getting 26% more picture. For comparison, here's 74% of the painting, and here's the whole thing. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I do have my golden pin giveaway. If you'd like a chance to win a golden pin, please leave a nice comment down below. I've dropped that. Yay! Thank you again to Sydney World for sponsoring this video, and I will see you guys again next week. Bye, 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 bye.